Cause I wanna be holding you everyone how is how are y'all doing tonight that's what I like to see um, my name is Christina Robinson and welcome to the Bluefield College Cabaret Showcase tonight we have a wonderful show I've been filming doing a show we're live you look fine it's, it's okay. Christina! What? Is this too classical? Oh, it's, uh, it's a little gold. Hey, uh, oh, gold. come on my phone this way or this way? But we're not even doing that skit hey, anymore. Hey, Christina, I can't find my script. It's I in your hand. My music gets 19 pages long. What? Why is this? You're drinking Christina. coffee. Hey, Why is there Christina, pizza on stage? Pizza. What is there pizza on stage? It's so fast. So fast. Enough to solve your own problems. So get back to places and be ready. Got it? Now go. <laughs> As I was saying, thank you for coming out. We have a wonderful show for you tonight. Exits are in the back and on the side. Bathrooms are downstairs and to the left. So is the water fountain. Um, am I forgetting anything else? Oh yeah, so 12th night will be happening the 1st and 2nd of May, and enjoy the show. So now we have, for our first act, we'll have Nina, and she's not going to be here with us anymore. She's moving to Chattanooga. Mm. So she will be singing Burn from Hamilton. I saved every letter you wrote me And the moment I read them I knew you were 
were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, be careful with that love. He will do what it takes to survive. You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces and paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers. Every line for some kind of sign. When you to our bed in clearing your name you have ruined our lives do you know what angelica said when she read what you'd done she said you've married an icarus he has flown too close to the sun you and your words obsessed with your legacy your sentences brought her on senseless and you are paranoid in every paragraph how they perceive you 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 i am erasing myself from the narrative let future historians wonder how eliza reacted when you broke her you have torn it all apart, I'm watching it burn, watching it burn. The world has no right to my heart, the world has no place in our bed, they don't get to know what I said, I'm burning the memories, burning the letters that might have redeemed you. You forfeit all rights to my heart. You forfeit the place in our bed. You sleep in your office instead with only the memories of when you were mine. I hope that you Now performing We Can Do It from the producers will be our very own Noah and General. What did Lewis say to Clark when everything looked bleak? What did Sir Edmund say to Tenzing as they struggled towards Everest Peak? What did Washington say to his troops as they crossed the Delaware? I'm sure you're well aware. What did they say? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it, me and you. We can do it. We can do it. We can make our dreams come true. Anything you've ever wanted is just waiting to be had. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, caressing you, undressing you, and driving you mad. We can do it. We can do it. This is not the time to shirk. We can do it. You won't rue it. 
Say goodbye to Petty Clerk. Hi, producer. Yes, producer. I mean you, sir, go berserk. We can do it. We can do it. And I know it's gonna work. Now, what do you say, Bloom? What do I say? Finally a chance to be a Broadway producer. Yes. What do I say? Finally a chance to make our dreams come true, sir. What do I say? What do I say? Here's what I say to you, sir. I can't do it. What? I can't do it. What do you mean? I can't do it. That's not me. I'm a loser. I'm a coward. I'm a chicken, that's not me. When it comes to wooing women, there's a few things that I lack. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, chasing me, embracing me, I'd have an attack. Why, you miserable, pathetic little caterpillar! Don't you want to spread your wings and flap your way to glory? Huh? No. What do you mean, no? No, get back here. I'm not done with you, Bloom. Get back here. Oh, I love them. So now doing a dance solo will be Abigail from, from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Someday. to believe in the days I was naive that I'd live to see a day of justice dawn and though I will die long before have changed someday these dreams will
way that you're telling me this right now. I can't believe this right now. Jesse, just hear me out. And I know I haven't been the best friend, even the best person in these last few months, but I swear to you this is true. I wish this were a different time for this, but I feel like now is the only time. What are you saying, Alex? What do you think is going to happen? Aren't we going to the same college, right? Well, I'm hoping so. I just feel like there's this dread lurking on my shoulder. You know, one of the twins had a similar question for me earlier before our speech class. I think it was Chris, but I can't always tell with the different hair colors. The twins, that's right. I completely forgot about them. I hope they don't hate us. Well, that's one of the questions they had. They were worried we hated them for they did your birthday party last year. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I love them even more for that. That's what I said, but I'm not sure if it was believed or not. Wait, wait. That's not why I asked you to come here. I asked you to come here so we could talk about us. Right. Well... Like I've said, I'm willing to go down this road, but only if we clear the air of what's going on between us. What exactly are you trying to say, Jess? Look, Alex, I know you're going through a hard time right now, and I don't want you to jump into anything that you're not ready for. What I'm trying to say Stop. is that- Don't say it. I'm fine with everything you just said. Why not give it a try? We only have one month left for graduation, so let's see what happens. But Alex, I'm trying to tell you Dad? Performing Pretty Women from Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber will be Noah and Brian. May I do for you today, sir, a stylish trimming of the hair, a soothing skin massage? Sit, sir, sit. You see, sir, a man infatuate with love, her ardent and eager slave. So fetch the pomade and palmer stone and lend me a more seductive tone, a sprinkling, perhaps, of French cologne. But first, sir, I think I'll shave. The closest I ever gave. Bottom, bum, bum, bottom, 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 bum, bum, bottom, 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 bum, bum, bottom, bum, 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 bottom, bum, 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 Now then, my friend, now to your purpose, patience, enjoy it, revenge can't be taken in and haste, wed, you'll be commended, sir. my lord, and who may it be said is your intended, sir? Pretty as her mother. What? what was that? Nothing, sir. Nothing. Shall we proceed? Pretty women. Fascinating. Sipping coffee. Dancing. Pretty women. Our wonder. Pretty women. Blowing out their candles or combing out their hair. Something in them cheers the air. Pretty women, stay within you. Stay forever, breathing lightly. Pretty women, pretty women, blowing out their candles or combing out their hair. Even when they leave, they still are there. 
women, women at their mirrors, in their garden, letter writing, flower picking, weather watching, how they may command, sing proof of heaven uh, as you're living. Pretty women, so pretty women, yes, pretty women, here's to pretty women, pretty women. <laughs> Performing the lunch scene from a You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown will be General. Well, I guess you could call me lonely because I love peanut butter. <laughs> so performing Anything Goes from Anything Goes will be Abigail and Staley. Thank you. 
That was so lovely. I love her so much. Now performing the last square will be, uh, mm, that's on me, ladies and gentlemen. I am so sorry about that. <laughs> now performing the last square will be Robert. Molly, Molly, really? Again? We talked about this. Can I, no, can you just stop? Can you just stop for once? There's clearly things in this marriage that I seem to care about that you don't. Well, like my time and my personal space and when I need sleep. I used to have bowling out with the guys every Tuesday and you didn't let me see my friends in months. What about politics, huh? I care about politics and you didn't even vote. And look what happened then. <laughs> and, and if you try to make me drink another one of those kale smoothies, I'm going to stick a fork in my eye. You know, clearly this isn't the only thing that's finished here. We really need some time apart. Now performing Act Three, Scene Three, Scene Three from Hamlet will be Ian. Now I do it, Pat. No, he's praying, and now I'll do it. And so he goes to heaven. And so I'm revenged. I'll be scanned. A villain kills my father, and fat I his sole son to send this villain to heaven. This higher and tiring, not revenge. He took my father, hard blown, with all his hinds as fresh as may. And now his audit stands, who knows save heaven. But in our circumstance and close thought, tis heavy with him. Am I then revenged to take him in the purging of his soul when he is fit in season for passage? No. I'll plead and no doubt more for what hence. He is drunk. He is weak. He is rage. And he is hurt to his head to stay. And they, swearing are about some act that has no relish of salvation in it, can trick him. And his heels may skip heaven. And that his soul damned and black as hell with two fists. If my mother sleeps, I'll prolong thy fit of days. Oh God. Now performing only us from Dear Evan Hansen will be Staley and Brian. Sell me on reasons to want you. I don't need you to search for the proof that I should. You don't have to convince me. You don't have to be scared you're not enough. Cause what we've got going is good. <laughs> I don't need more reminders of all that's been broken. I don't need you to fix what I'd rather forget. Clear the slate and start over. Try to quiet the noises in your head. We can't compete with all that. So what if it's us? What if it's us and only us? And what came before won't count anymore or matter. We can try that. What if it's you and what if it's me? What if that's all that we need it to be? And the rest of the world falls away. What do you say? 
never thought there'd be someone like you who would want me. Well? So I gave you 10,000 reasons to not let me go. But if you really see me, if you like me for me and nothing else, well, that's all that I've wanted for longer than you could possibly know. So it can be us, it can be us, and only us. And what came before won't count anymore or matter. We can try that. It's, it's not, not so impossible. impossible. Nobody else but the two of us here. So you're, you're saying, saying it's possible. We can just watch the whole world disappear. Till you're the only one. I still know how to see. It's just you and me. It'll be us, it'll be us, and only us. And what came before won't count anymore. We can try that, you and me. That's all that we needed to be. And the rest of the world falls away. And the rest of the world falls away. Doing a scene from our town will be Abigail and Ian with a special guest. Can I carry your books to you, Emily? Thank you, but it isn't far. Emily, I'm awfully glad you got Alexi too. Thank you. Emily, why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. Well, you've been treating me funny lately. Well, since you ask, I might as well say it right out. George, I don't like this whole change that's come over you in the last year. I'm sorry that hurts your feelings, but I got to tell the truth and shame the devil. A change? What do you mean? Well, up to a year ago, I used to like you a lot. And I used to watch you as you did everything, because we've been friends for so long. And then you began spending all your time at baseball, yeah, and you never stopped to talk to anybody yeah, anymore. Not even to your own family you didn't. George, it's a fact. You got awful conceited and stuck up, and all the girls say so. They may not say it to your face, but that's what they say about you behind your back, and I got to agree with them a little. I'm sorry that hurt your feelings, but I'm not sorry I said it. Um, I'm glad you said it, Emily. I guess I never thought I could have faults in my character. Well, I always expect a man to be perfect, and I think he should be. Oh, I don't think it's possible for someone to be perfect, Emily. Well, my father is, and as far as I can see, your father is. There's no reason why on earth you shouldn't be, too. I think it's the other way around, that men aren't naturally good, but girls are Well, you might as well know right now that I'm not perfect. It's not as easy for a girl to be perfect like a man, because we girls are more nervous. Now... I'm really sorry I said that all about you. I really don't know what made me say it. And now I can see it's not the truth at all. And I suddenly feel it isn't important anyway. Emily, would you like to go get an ice cream or something before you go home? Thank you. I would. Emily, George, how are... Emily Webb, what have you been crying about? Oh, she just got a little scared, Miss Robinson, you know crossing Main Street and all with Tom Higgins. Yeah, you gotta look both ways across the street nowadays. It gets worse every year. Now, what do you have? I'll have a strawberry phosphate. No, no, have an ice cream soda with me, Emily. Uh, two strawberry ice cream sodas, Miss Robinson. You got it. Here you go. 
but they're so expensive. No, no, don't think of that. We're celebrating our election. And you know what else I'm celebrating? No. I'm celebrating because I've got a friend who tells me everything that Audrey told her. Oh, George, please forget everything I said. It's not true. You're... Emily, stick to it. I'm glad you said what you did. But I'm going to change so quick. You bet I'm going to change. And Emily, I want to ask you a favor. What? If I go off to agriculture college next year, would you write me a letter once in a while? I certainly will. I certainly will, George. It certainly seems like being away for three years, you would get out of touch with things. Maybe letters from Grover's Corners wouldn't be in so, so interesting after a while. I mean, <laughs> Grover's Corners isn't as, all, as important as of all New Hampshire, but I think it's a very nice town. The day wouldn't come and I wouldn't want to know everything that's happening here, Emily. I know that's true. Well, I'll try to keep my letters interesting. You know, whenever I see a farmer, I always ask him if he thinks it's important to go to agriculture college. Why, George? Yeah, he even says that it's expensive and you can get all that information from the pamphlets the government hands out. And Uncle Luke, he's getting old. He said he was about ready for me to take over the farm tomorrow even. My! And Emily, what you said about going to new places and meeting new people, gosh, if any of that's possible, I don't want to go away. I bet new friends aren't any better than old ones. I bet they never are. Emily, I've always thought of you as one of the best friends I've ever had, and I don't want to go away and meet new people. Well, George, maybe it's very important for you to go and learn about cattle judging and soils. I'm and making my mind up right now. I'm not going. I'm going to tell Pa about it tonight. I don't know why you have to make a decision right now. It's a whole year away. Emily, everything you said about that, that fault in my character was right. But you got one thing wrong. That was when you said for a year I wasn't noticing people. And... Since Did you say that you were watching me and everything I did, I was doing the same to you the whole time. I always thought of you as one of the chief people I thought about. I always made sure where you were in the bleachers and who you were with. And for the past few days now, I've been trying to walk home with you, but something's always gotten in the way. Uh, yesterday, I was standing against the wall waiting for you, and you walked home with Miss Corker. And Why, George, life is awful funny. How could I have known that? Why, I thought I you mean, were. Yes? tell you why I don't want to go to agriculture college. I think that once you found someone you're fond of, and they're fond of you too, and they care enough about you to have an interest in your character, it's just as important as college. It's more important than college. That's what I think. I think it's awfully important too. Emily? Yes? Emily, if I make a big change, would you be, I mean, would you be? I am now. I always have been. So, I guess this is an important conversation you've been having? Yes, <laughs> yes. Now performing My Petersburg from Anastasia will be Brian. I grew up on the sly, in the gutters and the streets of Petersburg. Just a kid on the fly, getting good at getting by in Petersburg. I bartered for a blanket, stolen for my bread, learned to take my chances and use my head. A Russian rat is clever, clever, or he ends up dead. Boils down to there are some who survive, some who don't, some give up, some give in me. I won't, black and blue, welcome to my Petersburg. Standing here, you can see from the spires to the piers of Petersburg. I'll be down on that key, 
selling stolen souvenirs of Petersburg. The palace is above and alleyways below. Funny when a city is all you know. How even when you hate it, something in you loves it so. That's where I learned my stuff in some rough company. There's a boy growing up who was me. All I've been, all I'll be. We can do what we're told. We can go where we're led. But I learned from my father to see what's ahead. Nothing here to hold me, no one that I owe. Funny how a boy can grow. Funny when a city tells you when it's time to go. Boils down to there are some who have walls yet to climb. You and I on the fly just in time. But tonight there's a sky and quite a view. Welcome to my Peter's bag. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for being a great audience, even on the live stream. We have one more uh, performance for you tonight, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming out. Open the gates and seize the day. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nothing can break us, no one can make us give our rights away. Arise and seize the day. Now is the time to seize the day. Send out the call and join the fray. Send out the call and join the fray. Wrongs will be righted if we're united. Let us seize the day. Yeah! Friends of the friendless seize the day. Friends of the friendless seize the day. Raise up the torch and light the way. Proud and defiant, we'll slay the giant. Let us seize the day. Neighbor to neighbor, father to son. One for all and all for one. Open the gates and seize the day. Don't be afraid and don't delay. Nothing can break us. No one can make us give our rights away. Neighbor to neighbor, father to son. 